Got him. Fish on. All right, we got one on. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good pull. Loosen my drag. Let him run a little. All right, let me tell you this story. Welcome back, everybody. We're on Beaver Lake. And uh, we're out here with Mike Bailey, who, who's with Beaver Safari Guide Service. strange thing happened we were just driving down the lake and Mike stopped and looked in a cove and there were a bunch of birds way in the back of the cove real shallow literally up in like three four feet of water and sure enough these stripers had these shad pinned up way back here in the back I love of the cove. to catch striped bass but even more than that I love to catch great big ones that's exactly what we're going to try to do on this week's episode because we're taking you along with us to one of the best trophy striper lakes in the entire country crystal clear water beautiful scenery and a great day what more could you ask come on along Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air Right it's now. a calm, quiet, and peaceful morning in the mountains of Northwest Arkansas. This is beautiful Beaver Lake. What you may not know is that it's one of America's premier striped bass fisheries. Some of the largest stripers caught in America are caught right here in Beaver Lake. You're going to want to stay with us for this entire episode because Mike Bailey of Beaver Safari Guide Service is going to take us and out. We just may get to show you some of the biggest stripers we've ever showed you in the history of our television show. Hey everybody, glad to have you with us. We're out early morning and we've made it out on Beaver Lake. Crystal clear water. Look at this, Mike Bailey is already hooked up. Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, he barely made his first stop. Got two lines in the water and he's already got a fish. Wow, Mike, your early morning prediction was exactly right. Be. This is really a trophy stripper fishery. You don't catch a lot of little fish here. So what do you call a good fish here? A trophy, you're looking 30 pound or better. Holy cow, what a pig. All oh, right, first. we got a big one in the boat already. That one will be 25. What is it, Mike? It's, between, it's right about 27. It's between 26 and 27. <laughs> Man. Well, I'm and gonna, I guess uh, do you, you catch and release mostly on your yes, on, your, on uh, your big ones? I try to. If it's just me, clients, they like to keep them. You can eat a fish this size. I've cleaned a lot of them, but uh, I'd like to let this one go. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's do that. There'll be one more for the folks that come fishing with me. When you throw these big ones back, you want to aim them kind of down so they're not disoriented. There he goes, straight down. She goes. We're just I've got a great rod for doing this. This is the David Fritz Perfect Crankbait Rod Loose makes, and it's got a lot of flex to it. It's made for throwing crankbaits for bass, but it's perfect for catching stripers. Easy, darling. Easy, darling. Turn this way, baby. Her head needs to go in this net. Got to get her turned. I got her. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Man, look at that. <laughs> what an awesome fish. That is truly amazing. Truly, absolutely amazing. Well, I had to take my jacket off. I've about worked a sweat up here. What a great fish. We'll show it to you one more time. There we go. Big old Beaver Lake Striper right there. Everybody, we just, uh, we literally just Look pulled up on thing. Mike from catching my fish. And Mike was fighting one just outside the mouth of the cove. Wow, this one's even bigger than the one we just released. Good night. Look at this fish, baby. 29 and a quarter. Goodness, 29 and a quarter. Nearly a 30 pound striped bass right there. Give us one more mug shot and put her back. If she was full of eggs and spawn ready to go, that'd be a 32, 33 pound fish right there. What a fish. All right, you want to, I'm gonna pull, push back and you can put her back right here in front of us. All right. What's the principle behind the little bitty small hooks? It's fishing that clear water. It's, it's finesse fishing is what it is. Just like your finesse bass fishing, we're finesse striper fishing. 
Look how clear this water is too. Man, you can see way down. Oh, she's tired, come on. All right, we've got big fish working in here today. Let's take a quick break for word from our sponsors and we'll be back to Beaver Lake, Arkansas, home of the giant stripers right after this. There she goes, straight down. Wow. Downsize your hook, downsize your bait. Everything's gotta be downsized. I've got a 14 pound test fluorocarbon line on here. I've got my real flexible rod here. I lose David Fritz perfect cranking rod. And I'm adjusting the drag on my BB2 Pro Reel. But I feel like he's starting to get close a little bit. Beast. This is a beast right here. This is a pig. I don't even know if this fish will go in the net or not. I got him. Oh my gosh. What have I done? Oh, I can't even lift it. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> oh man. This is the biggest strapper I've maybe ever, well, it's not the biggest strapper I ever caught. I caught a 50 pound four ouncer in New Mexico one time. But this is certainly the biggest one short of that. Man. Look at this, and we are gonna release this fish back. This is a whale. We've gotta, I can't even, oh my gosh. There she wants to go, there she goes. All right, we did it. Didn't have a scale that big, but Mike Bailey's got a formula and I did take some measurements on the fish and uh, I got the length and the girth around the biggest part of the fish. So we're gonna put right now up on the screen since we can edit after the fact and tell you roughly what this fish weighed. One more time for Mike Bailey's guide service in case you'd like to come book a trip here and catch yourself a big old striper like the one we caught today. Once again, I got to give you another look at that fish. It was 29 inches around. We ran it through a formula, approximately 44 pounds. One of the top thrills of my fishing life. Hey, before we get out of here, 